Hi there, I wanted to talk about a comic book series called Plastic by Doug Wagner, art by Andrew Robinson. I talked about their work previously in the volume that, well, the volume, the story that follows Plastic um, vinyl before on this channel. Uh, I really enjoyed it, so I went out and bought Plastic. Um, it is. <laughs> <laughs> it's a story that is equally uh, as sort of twisted and um, adult as vinyl is. Uh, they've got another series coming out called Plush, which is currently two issues in, but I haven't bought any of those yet. I want to see how, when when that finishes because I don't want to be waiting. Um, but this follows a guy who's just trying to get his girlfriend back. Um, he goes to get some donuts after they've had a bit of a um, canoodling session in the car. Something goes wrong. Um, some guys are chatting up his girlfriend. Uh, he sorts them out in a very brutal fashion. And it turns out these guys are connected. And the, the one guy's dad is like the crime lord in the town. Think, um, think sort of like the town in Roadhouse where there's that one guy that runs everything. Very much like that. And he ends up butting heads with this guy gets pulled in um, by the guy said look I've looked at you you've got some skills I, I want you to do a job for me and I'll let you go free and that job is killing the local sheriff because obviously the local sheriff is the only person who sort of stands against him uh, we see him go off and do this and obviously he's going to get double crossed in between all of this there's lots of violence um, lots of like little bits where you see him noting things down in his head he's going right then you said you looked at my girlfriend so I'm gonna have your eyes you licked her so I'm gonna have your tongue that kind of stuff it's all like fitted in the boxes lovely clear graphic artwork um, but it's all got that sort of twisted sense of humor as well none of it's done none of it's done with a mean spirit to it it's all done in a sort of gore fest you know, upbeat mood. If you if you can say that about it, it never feels like I'm reading something sadistic. Um, one thing I am not telling you is that, as you learn from within a couple of pages, his girlfriend is a blow up doll. That just puts you in the frame of mind as to what <laughs> what this guy what this guy's like. Um, and he, there were there were other things in the story about him as well uh, that I won't reveal that are just like little character things. But as with vinyl. Um, you are dropped in at the deep end with this but you very quickly find your feet I think that is why it is best read either with all the single issues being available or as a trade uh, because to read it month to month would probably be enjoy be fun still but you wouldn't be able to whiz through it because it is a quick read mind um, if you like that kind of book if you enjoyed vinyl if you're looking for more things like that just fun escapist sort of gore stuff and um, dark humour this is totally worth checking out I mean I think it's quite expensive to buy the trade on Comixology right now it's about a tenner uh, but it's the kind of thing that will come up in the sale um, to buy the trade in sort of paper format it's about £13 on Amazon uh, right now but obviously as I always say you've got to price watch and watch what the prices do it's about 145 pages in length and it's just a, it's just a good it's a good laugh for the comics. Um, I will be reviewing Plush once it comes out, but in the meantime, I would say check this out. Give us a little thumbs up, like on the screen if this review has helped you out at all. And thanks for watching.